which are founded on state and local law, and which most public agencies use. Good to see you. So what do you do with all the, all the uh, confidential information that you've got? Yeah. I'm Geraldine Bluford. I don't need the mic. I'm just going to say this. You all are here, city council run the city. You see why there is a separation between the community and the city officials. It's because you will not let us have a word. And you turn your back or put your heads down as if we don't matter. You all, if you don't have kids, then you're lucky yeah, because you won't ever have to go yeah, and bury somebody. your kids. My son is gone. I'm standing here before you begging you three or four times asking you for help. You told me you'd help me. You told me don't worry about it. Give you a call. I come back. I don't have nothing. I don't have a police report. The summarize, a, com a coroner's report. What mother wouldn't want to know what happened to their baby the night they died? What mother wouldn't want to know where the, the chain of custody to his body? They never called me. They never never gave me an answer and they're still not giving me an answer and want me to go away and shut up and not say anything. And when I get up to speak and look at you in your eyes, you can see the pain in my eye. My heart is broken, but you can put your head down and turn away from me and act like it don't matter. Adeline is gone. He's not coming back. But he can't speak for himself, but I'm here to speak for him. And I want his report. I'm his mother. That's my right to know what happened to my child. And not to just look away and turn your head down. This could be your son, your cousin, your nephew. are being loud and disruptive, it's because there's something we want you to hear. You are elected to hear from us. You are dressing the wound of our people too lightly. Yes, city council business is important, but what we want you to hear is that city business, to some degree, is killing us. Your officer that the city of Oakland hired, Officer Masso, had already been involved in a abusing an inmate in a prison where the New York Police Department was, was sued. And before they could even interview him about that, he had already left and uprooted himself and his family to be hired by the Oakland Police Department. City business, business as usual in a police department that is off the hook, killed Alan Bluford. That's right. This family is asking for answers. And I have a suspicion that the reason you don't want to pull back the cover is because you know what answers you're going to find. That Miguel Masso murdered Alan Bluford in cold blood and that you are covering up a racist murder. So my question is, who did his background? Who hired him? Who signed the final papers that it was okay for Miguel Masso, who already had red flags, to come and serve in our community? It is time, City of Council, City of Oakland, to take a stand. If you do not do that, you aren't going to have any more city council meetings. We are not leaving here without being dragged out of here, and there's hundreds more behind us. So there's concerned. hundreds more behind us, and then there will be thousands. There will be no business as usual in Oakland until there's justice for Alan Bluford. We come in peace. We come in love. We love Alan. We're just trying to get to the bottom, and there needs to be things looked at. You need to change some things so that to bring the community and the council together. Peace requires justice. Until you give us peace, there will be no justice. No justice, no, no peace. peace. No, no justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace.